The following moles question about is about moles and ratios, and the question states that there is a 5 gram sample of an anhydrous group 2 metal nitrate and it loses 3.29 grams in mass when heated strongly. So we need to first the first thing that we need to do is we need to come up with an equation. So it's a it's a group 2 metal nitrate so that means uh, group 2 metal nitrates would uh, now I don't know what the formula of the metal is so let's take that as X the unknown but it has a charge of 2 plus nitrate is NO3 1 minus so the group 2 metal nitrate the formula of group 2 metal nitrate would be X NO3 twice so it's going to be X NO3 nitrate twice and when it decomposes, whenever nitrates decompose, they produce a metal oxide, which is going to be XO, X is 2 plus, O is 2 minus. So the formula is going to be XO plus NO2 gas would be produced. And you would have uh, oxygen gas that would be produced. So whenever a nitrate decomposes, it produces these three things. And we need to balance this equation. So uh, two metal nitrates would produce two metal oxides. I'm putting uh, the molecules compounds in brackets just to clarify and it's going to produce their four nitrogens over here so this should be four NO2 molecules and it's going to be one O2 molecule. The next information that's given in the question is uh, that it's a five gram sample of anhydrous group 2 metal nitrate so the mass of this nitrate is given it's five gram and it loses 3.29 grams in mass so the lost mass would be gases that escape so so uh, 3.29 grams would be the would be the gases that have escaped and these are the gases so NO2 gas and O2 gas are going to escape so that is the lost mass so this is 3.29 grams so if you had a 5 gram sample and it loses uh, 3.29 grams of gases so what's left that's the amount of mass so if you subtract 5 from 3.29 you get 1 point 1 1.71 grams of this solid metal oxide so this is the solid metal oxide that's remaining so 5 gram it loses 3.29 grams in the form of gases they are gone and the leftover is the metal oxide which is 1.71 grams so the product the total is going to be 5 grams now there are two ways of solving this question. One is that uh, is the trial and error method uh, that you take magnesium. Instead of X put magnesium over here and magnesium oxide over here and uh, find the moles and see uh, whether this information that is given fits magnesium and then substitute calcium instead of X and see whether this information if you have 5 grams of calcium nitrate do you get 1.7 grams of calcium oxide so uh, one method is the trial and error method which where you would substitute each of the elements and see which uh, with which element this information fits exactly and that would be the element um, for which this information is given the other method is uh, is the shorter ratio method and that is that if you look at the uh, at the at these compounds uh, metal nitrate and metal oxide you would notice that two metal nitrates produce two metal oxides which means that the ratio of metal nitrate to metal oxide is exactly the same so if you have 10 moles of metal nitrate there would be 10 moles of metal oxide if there are 100 moles of metal nitrate there would be 100 moles of metal oxide so the ratio of the moles is going to be exactly the same so what we can do is we can find the moles of this metal nitrate and we can find the moles of this metal oxide and the two moles must be exactly the same so that is what we are going to do so so we're going to try and find the moles of uh, metal nitrate so it's going to be moles is basically equal to the mass divided by the molar mass which in this case is uh, we don't know what x is so that's the unknown plus we have nitrogen which is 14 we have three oxygens so that's 16 into 3 plus there are two nitrates so we're going to multiply the whole thing by 2 so that's the that's the molar mass of this metal nitrate but in terms of X because I don't know what X is similarly we can find the moles of this metal oxide uh, moles would be equal to mass divided by the molar mass which is going to be X because X is unknown plus there's one oxygen so that's 16 so it's X plus 16 and we're going to try and solve this the two moles should be equal because the equation states that the amount of moles of nit metal nitrate should be exactly the same as the moles of metal oxide so we're going to try and solve this so if you try and solve this it's going to be 5 divided by x plus this entire thing would be equal to 124 and this should be equal to 1.71 divided by 
x plus 16 and simplifying this it's going to be 5 multiplied by x plus 16 multiplied by 5 that would be equal to 80 then you would have 1.71 into x plus 1.71 into 124 and simplifying this if I get this x on the other side it's going to be 5x minus 1.71 x which is going to be 3.29 x and bringing the 80 to the other side would be 124 multiplied by 1.71 plus 80 and then I'm going to get rid of this 3.29 from here and I'm going to divide this by 3.29 and now using my calculator I'm going to try and solve this and when you use your calculator to solve this it's going to be 124 into 1.71 plus 80 divided by 3.29 the answer that you're going to get is using my calculator it's going to be 88.7 seven up to four significant figures and this is basically x so my x the ar of x is coming out to be equal to 88.77 and i'm going to figure out now i have four options a b and c d i'm going to figure out which one is 88.77 if you look at for magnesium in the periodic table the ar is uh, 24 for calcium, the ER is approximately, round, if you round it off, it's approximately 40. And for strontium, it's uh, actually 88 point. Uh, it's approximately 88.77. Uh, so this is the closest one. So option C is going to be the correct one because its AR in the periodic table is the same as the AR of X that we used in, the, in our method.